Hello, my name is Corey Rosenbush, and I am the president and CEO of the Fertilizer Institute and the Nutrients for Life Foundation. When the foundation team asked if I would be a celebrity chef to bake some apple cookies as part of our fertilizer, Life's Main Ingredient campaign, I was excited to say yes. And then I realized that I don't know how to bake. So I'm excited that I was recruiting my very own middle daughter, Ava, who's going to help us today. You want to introduce yourself to everyone? Hi, my name is Ava Rosenbush. I am nine years old and I am a right Great, Ava. And tell everyone a little bit about what you enjoy doing. I love playing lacrosse. I love doing gymnastics and I love baking. Sounds like we have a very qualified young lady to help us bake today. We're gonna be using one of our recipe cards that's part of Fertilizer Life's Main Ingredient to prepare some apple cookies today. Ava, why don't you tell us what we're going to be baking? Today we're going to be baking apple cookies with a dash of NPK. The most important ingredient in this and every recipe is fertilizer. A dash of potassium, a pinch of nitrogen, and a sprinkle of phosphorus through the apples for these cookies. Drawn from nature, fertilizer Fertilizer helps kids grow up healthier and live longer lives because it adds both nutrition and taste to foods we love. David, did you know that fertilizer was so critical to apple cookies? No, I didn't. Well, I'll tell you what. If you teach me how to bake these delicious cookies, I'll teach you about fertilizer. Deal? Deal. Perfect. Let's get started. We measured out all of our ingredients before we started. So here we have a half a cup of shortening, mm -hmm. one and a third cup of brown sugar, one egg, two cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, a half a teaspoon of salt, one, a half a cup of milk, a cup of chopped walnuts. Mm, love walnuts. One cup of raisins. Not a big raisin fan. One, and one cup of chopped apples. Love apples. Okay, we've already preheated the oven to 400 degrees. We've greased the cooking sheets. Got it. And the next step is to cream the shortening, the sugar, and the eggs. All right, let's get started. All right, so we got all of those in, and now we're gonna mix that up. No, so first what we do is we mix Okay. The baking soda and the salt together. Perfect. David, do you know where flour comes from? From wheat. From wheat, that's right. And what is wheat used for? Bread, pasta, yep. and flour. Cereal, flour, that's right. It is more, provides more nourishment than any other food source in the world. So needless to say, wheat's pretty important in feeding the population. As a matter of fact, the average American consumes about 134 pounds of wheat per year. Isn't that crazy? That is crazy. And of course it's not possible without what? Fertilizer. Fertilizer, that's right. We've got N, P, and K. You know what N, P, and K stand for? Nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. That is exactly right. Do you know why potassium is K? Because it starts with a P. No, I don't. So we get it from this. Do you know what this is? A periodic table. The periodic. periodic table. So where's potassium on the periodic table? Right there. Number 19, element 19. And what is the element? K. Symbol? K, that's right. So that is why we use K for potassium. But do you know where the K from comes from? No, I don't. Well, in Latin, potassium or potash is called kalium, and that's why it appears as K on the periodic table. What do we do next? So first, next we're going to add half of this into this mixture. All right. Can I help you or are you good? I'm good. All right, you're the expert. You're the celebrity. So, all right, so you need the rest of this stuff now? Um, so now we are going to put in the milk. Yeah. And the rest of the dry ingredients. So raisins and the nuts and the apples, all of which are important because fertilizer helped them grow as well. Uh, Ava, do you, know, do you know why you need calcium in your body? 
That's easy, Dad. That, it helps your bones stay strong. That's exactly right. And that's what nitrogen does for a plant. It helps the plant stock grow tall and be very productive. I get nitrogen, but what do phosphorus and potassium do? Well, that's a great question. So phosphorus is really important for photosynthesis. And potassium helps with the plant's water use efficiency. All of which gives us plenty of food and yummy cookies that we can enjoy. Okay, so I've just added in the raisins, the walnuts, and the apples. And now I'm going to blend. Ah, done. Now I understand why fertilizer is so important. That's right, and we wouldn't be able to enjoy these wonderful cookies without them. Now we can say we are officially celebrity chefs. Dad, we're not even done yet. We still have to put the cookies in the oven and make the icing. Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, I can get the icing ready to go while you put the cookies on the cookie sheet and in the oven because I think icing is a food group within itself. Okay, so we took in the cookie dough and put them into balls and put them on the cookie sheet and then flatten them a little bit. Flatten them a little bit so they don't get too puffy? Yes. All right, great. And in the oven they go? Yes. For how long? 10 minutes. 10 minutes. And why don't we go ahead while we're waiting and make the icing on the cookie. Okay, so first we have some powdered sugar, salt, milk, vanilla extract, and melted butter. Butter. And we mix all this in here? Yes. Just dump it in? Yep. All right. The vanilla extract. That looks like the stuff on funnel cake. Mm, yep. Yeah. Mmm, love that stuff. All right. And then we're just gonna mix it all together. Wow, that looks delicious. Can I have a little taste? Yes. Delicious. Mmm, icing. All right, so that's mixed. And then when the cookies are ready, we'll just drizzle that on. And it sounds like they're ready. Let's check them out. Hey, well, those look really delicious. I can't wait to try one with the icing first. So how do we get the icing on? So we're just gonna take a little Yep. So let's put a little bit on here. The icing I think is gonna be my favorite part of this whole thing. <laughs> So once those cool, we'll be able to try our delicious treat. Ava, these look fabulous. Well done. Can we try some? Yes. The icing looks magnificent. Mmm, -hmm. that is really good. Ava, thank you so much for cooking with me today. You're welcome. I think I'm gonna eat the entire plate of cookies. And I can now say, hopefully, I can bake these on my own, and you can tell all your friends why fertilizer is important for your yummy treats. Because it is life's main ingredient.